Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today we will continue discussing regarding pets and next one will be Frostbear, the tank pet. And I will try my best to explain what I have learned regarding this pet and what my experiences and how I think it should be played. Uh, first of all, uh, as always, we will discuss attributes, which attributes will be good for the frost bear. First of all, uh, in my opinion, endurance is uh, just uh, attribute for tanks. Doesn't matter if it will be a stripe bear or a frost bear. Endurance is one of the most important uh, attributes for this type of warped. Second, I think it can be luck. It can be even intelligence, it can be even strength, depends what kind of gameplay you are going for. And regarding Frostbear, there is two ways of playing it. And as always, uh, quality is always important. Try to get a legendary uh, quality of the pet because it will give you uh, plus 30% uh, stats all around. Like regarding, if you will see, my first bear is elite level and there is like B, B, C, 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 C. If I will have the legendary one, I will get a uh, lot of S and a lot, lot of A's. So like, even if you are focusing on endurance, if you will get legendary pet, every skill will be very, very high, which will benefit uh, you, of course. Now, the most important part is skills, right? And as I said, there is like two ways of playing uh, the frost bear. Uh, first one uh, is the uh, tree of frost armor. Like this playstyle is like mainly regarding stacking shield, stacking armor, uh, stacking uh, health regeneration. And as you can see, with the frost armor, whenever your uh, legion is gaining shield, uh, it gains a primitive strike. So, like, you are stacking your shield and your shield is giving you primitive strike, which will uh, deal a lot of damage. So, how this build will go? The main skill, the talent skill is Frost Armor. Uh, of course, uh, as every talent skill, you can upgrade your uh, main skill is Enduring Frost Armor. It's just a better version, like, it's a synergy here, uh, Frost Armor and Enduring Frost Armor. And both of these skills, like this skill is like endurance and this skill is strength. As I said, like different attributes give you different stats. And also, as we said, uh, like upon gaining shield, we need shields, right? Uh, with the heart wall, you will, you're, there's a chance you can generate shield every second. So mainly, I think uh, the first berry can be good for Madeline, can be good for uh, like Garwood, like any main tank uh, heroes will be good for the frost bear. Uh, like as I said, first build is like frost armor. Then you go gonna go enduring armor. You will go hurt wall. Even terra barrier can be good because it's, it's, it just gives you the defense and like all the blue stuff. What you can see and what what gives you like shield armor defense will be good for this build. And of course, like. Just a random physical attack bonus is never bad, right? Uh, regarding second way of playing, uh, the frost bear is uh, just purely counter strike. Like as you know, Madeline is a great hero for the infantry because she has a counter counter attack uh, skill, and this counter attack skill does a lot of damage. And imagine like. T5 Madeline uh, with a lot of counter strike, it's like really bad if you're gonna hit her, right? So, uh, Frostbear has, has this way of playing because uh, Frostbear can be used on Madeline. Counter strike is just the purely same thing as a Madeline skill, but it's like you, if you have it on your pet, it has a synergy, right? Like here, counter strike, whenever your Legion is hit with a normal attack, they have a 50% chance to deal damage to the attacker. Great, like perfect, right? For Madeline. Uh, again, it's a uh, Counter Strike, has a synergy skill with a tough Counter Strike. It's great names, right? There is 100% chance to gain one stack of Toad Pet when casting Counter Strike. So here we go, already a synergy, right? 
with this synergy you can build uh, like what you wish you want your Madeline to have. Like maybe you want to have some uh, dispel effects so you can move around faster. Maybe you want have you want to have a HP and the HP is great for Madeline. Or maybe you want to have a uh, HP restoration also perfect. Maybe you want to go to the more uh, attacking side of the Madeline. You're gonna go for the uh, Maniac Might. So even like. Uh, Determined Hurt can be cool because it's guild give like shield effects, but uh, Counter Strike I think is even better than the Frost Armor because, well, you you gonna eventually die, right? But with Counter Strike you are giving, dealing damage to backwards. So like at first when I looked at the Frost Bear, it was like most basic uh, war pet, but when I looked inside of this pet, like there is a two ways of playing. And both ways are fun. Depends uh, what's your game game style, right? And in the game, when there is a couple of ways of playing a single feature, it's cool because you can adjust to your uh, play style and however you wish. So, like, you want to play with armors and with like shields, frost armor and the hurt wall, and during frost armor, you want to deal damage as a tank. You're gonna go counter strike. You're gonna go tough counter strike. Uh, you're gonna stack uh, HP, uh, even you can go to the hit back, like counter attack damage uh, increase. Uh, so uh, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, I will continue doing more uh, in detail Warpit guides. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you are liking my videos, and I will continue doing what I'm doing uh, so far. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.